Hey guys, Poison here again, and today we're back with the Bistery League recap slash stream moments episode number two. Uh, you know already what's gonna happen here, so I'm just I'm gonna jump into it right away. If not, watch the first episode. So today we managed to upgrade gearwise uh, into a different six link than the tabula for obvious reason resistances life strength i got uh, the divination cards for it traded them in got this chess piece and hit it with an alchemy and this is the result of it i didn't craft any resistances on it because i might need later when i'm changing the gear a little bit boots the same belt the same the two rings are the same i'm gonna talk about the ring in a second I dropped some spike gloves, white ones, I hit them with uh, this essence here, essence of zeal but uh, a tier higher screaming, I got this outcome, crafted life, here it is. As you can see we are reaving now boys, so we are playing reave. Uh, I switched to bloodseeker, I got this um, awesome offhand, double conversion nodes, Crit multi on it, 20c, super good deal, I love it. Um, amulet is the same and the helmet is the same. And in terms of also another gear uh, purchase was this one. I purchased the crit multi life for 2c, I hit it with the regal, got area damage, easy, juicy. Skill tree a little bit changed, we got up to the Claw nodes instead of the X nodes, obviously. Got some crit, some life, and int because I need it for uh, ink area slash conk effect for blade fury boss killing. So, yeah, in terms of rings, I have here a ring, but uh, after 20 essences, I'm still with uh, a ring that I cannot use myself, so I'm trying to sell it. Really nice phase, really nice, light, really nice lightning damage on it, all res and wet, probably not gonna sell for 100c, so I'm gonna recraft it tomorrow. In terms of Atlas, we are at um, 91, everything cleared up to tier 9, and then I have some tier 10s and some red maps completed already. Hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna be able to do some better progression that I did today. In terms of happenings, nothing really happened. Uh, other than uh, the gear upgrades, we had a crab fight, which is one of the new uh, items. I'm gonna show you real fast here. This is the crabster item. The you read the name because I don't know how. I you put it on and then you have the aspect of the crab. It reserves 25% mana and grants 2% additional physical damage reduction per crab barrier. You can have up to 15. Crab barriers, which is pretty significant if you go into a defensive build, right? So that's that. And also, if you defeat the uh, the crabster, you're gonna get this. After you captivate the crab, the boss itself, uh, you're gonna have um, where is it? Hello, crabster. Aspect of the crab skill. You can craft this uh, onto one of your uh, items. Yeah, I don't know why it disappeared. I had this crabby boy. Maybe I crafted it, crafted with it to something, and that's why. But yeah, you get this, and you can craft it on any item. I don't know how it works exactly because I didn't do it yet. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait for that. So that's it. No big happenings, exalt drops, and stuff like that. Hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna have a better day. Today I had a really, really bad day in terms of RNG. I'm gonna leave you with the crab fight, enjoy it, and thank you so much for watching guys. I'm gonna be back tomorrow. Have a great day and enjoy the crab fight. What is this?
Morgen KS. You have your nets? Yeah, I have uh, this one. Uh, okay, we need to pussy out this one. I definitely need Blade Flurry here. Where did I put my thingy? Blade Flurry. Crabby boy, why are you going, crabby boy? Got him! 